Hi, um, my name is Gold Wagner. I'm head of design for Daimler AG and so of course for our most important brand Mercedes-Benz cars. We're here today in one of our design studios uh, here in Germany in our headquarters. Uh, you can see it's a very interesting place, open spaces. This is where we produce the cars, this is where we uh, sculpture the clay and um, have very creative discussions here. Well, the first thing that comes in, in my mind when I hear the Bauhaus is simplicity, geometry, and obviously design. It's um, one of the most famous uh, schools, especially of German design. The idea of the Bauhaus was so radical at its time that all the creative disciplines came together and work under one roof and kind of cross-inspire each other. I think that was the most radical part of the concept of Bauhaus. Obviously, it was the first time such a school of design was ever founded, um, actually globally, I believe. Through that concentration of creative people, creative designers at the first time, um, I think that was what made it so strong because people could learn from each other. And this is what it made such a powerful institution. Well, I think um, the Bauhaus and the ideas that came out of the Bauhaus um, influence every designer in a certain way, but especially if you're a German designer working for a German company with um, a tradition even uh, longer than the Bauhaus, actually. And um, for a luxury company such as Mercedes-Benz, it's very important to maintain your roots, your roots as a German company. And German design, and especially German car design, currently is very successful all over the globe. And why is that? Because it is inspired from ideas of the Bauhaus, of ideas of simplicity, of perfect craftsmanship, of arts. The approach of the, of the Bauhaus was very intellectual, that form follows function and everything has to, be, has to have a reason. We as car designers, yes, we still believe the same thing. We believe in simplicity. We also believe in a reason and we are also intellectual people. But um, we add another aspect, we add the emotion to it. And we, we talk about it actually in our philosophy as hot and cool. You know, the cool part is the purity, the simplicity. It's a crucial part of the Mercedes-Benz design language, which makes it so German and so long life because simple shapes, and that's the theory of the Bauhaus, are more long lasting. And looking at the Weissenhof Siedlung and the architecture there, it proves they're right, they're still contemporary. Our design philosophy is called essential purity. So we combine two things. We combine essential emotion, which is very crucial for a luxury brand, uh, with uh, purity in design, a cleanness that really goes back, back to the Bauhaus, actually. And um, I believe what makes our approach is so special that we combine what at first glance looks like opposites. And in fact, it is very deeply rooted in the DNA of our company because we had a merger of a very rational German company of Benz as the inventor of the automobile, a very intellectual man with very functional vehicles. And on the other hand, we had Mercedes, Gottlieb Daimler, um, with Mercedes, a very glamorous brand producing race cars, racing in Monte Carlo, and last not least, being named after a girl's name, Mercedes, the daughter of Mr. Jelinek. And so these two um, poles, the emotional and the rational pole, are deeply rooted in the DNA of this company. And we interpret this crucial idea with design. And again, one part is very influenced from the Bauhaus, of typical German design, which makes us so successful today. And the extra part, which creates luxury goods. And um, in this extent, this is, of course, very different to the Bauhaus because the Bauhaus did not want to produce luxury goods. But we obviously, as Mercedes-Benz, wants to do that. I believe the Bauhaus people were looking very much into the future and about shaping the future. And of course, this is what we do as well. Uh, we design cars uh, five years ahead of the market. They run seven years on the market and they will stay another 20 years on the street. With concept cars or research cars, we, we give a glimpse into that future, into the year 2035. And the last work we did there was uh, the F15, 
luxury in motion, autonomous driving vehicle, and it was a very radical concept um, in every extent, not only in design. It was very clean, um, no single line on it. So in that extent, it was a true Bauhaus car, on difference that it's of course uh, combines um, the modernity more in the surfaces, full surfaces. I believe actually the true sense of Bauhaus was innovation. Um, if we have all these people coming together and designers themselves as creative people are inventors. Uh, innovation is our business, not only formal I innovation in terms of how can we develop formal language and stuff, but also think about new ideas, think about new solutions, how can we make life um, easier and better. And uh, I think the very significant thing about designers is they love simplicity. And maybe again, this is the DNA that comes from the Bauhaus, I don't know. But at least German designers are very much into that. And it helps to make this complex world today with more and more information, digital, 24 seven on, um, makes it a better place and more understandable place. It's actually about um, getting the right amount of information and not as much information as possible. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing.